guys, everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kaizen Tsukho, and if you're an oldie but a goodie, hey go hey. Okay guys, let's get started with today's video. So in so today's video, I wanted to just take you guys through my bakeware. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I basically did a I don't want to say it's huge, but I did a big Le Creuset Bakeware haul. So I do have footage where I am unboxing and I also have a very special clip where I'll show you guys how I make my banana bread with one of my um, baking tins, which is this one over here. If you guys are not familiar with who Le Creuset is, they're actually a French company. I believe they originated in France and now they've um, got stores all around the world. They specialize in homeware products so they make things like pots pans they're very very popular or well known for their um, cast iron pots and cast iron cookware um, but in this video I decided to get myself their bakeware if you guys are not aware or you don't follow me on Instagram I absolutely love baking and I love cooking and um, I have articulated in my moving out video the importance of actually having the right tool to do the job like if I don't have the right thing to do the job I'm not gonna do it so I just wanted to come onto camera as well and not just have you view my unboxing but just hear my perspectives and my thoughts about the stuff that I purchased. So as it stands I have one, two, three, four, I've got six, um, I've got six pieces of the Le Creuset Bakeware. The most popular one that you've probably seen me use and you've probably seen it on Instagram is this one. This is their loaf tin. So basically in this tin I've made banana bread and that's basically the footage that you're going to see at towards the end of this video. If you want to know my banana bread recipe you'll see how I make my banana bread um, so that you can also make banana bread. It's pretty simple. I'm pretty sure everyone knows how to make banana bread but just in case you don't know how to I've got um, some footage towards the end of the video that will show you guys how to make banana bread. I made it in this baked tin and it was impeccable like the best banana bread i've ever made um and then i decided to purchase these two um they spring form cake tins i bought two and my logic for that was so you can obviously see i haven't used these because they still have the le creuset labeling but the reason why i purchased two instead of one is normally what happens is when you bake a cake you have enough batter for two layers instead of putting it in taking it out waiting for it to cool off and then loading the second load of batter i wanted to basically load two pans or two yeah i wanted to basically load two tins put them in the same time or put them in one after the other and really not just have that mess and that inconvenience of having to wait for one cake tin um i also figured that maybe one day i'd want to make like some um, fridge cheesecake and then the other one I make cake it actually saves time when I have two of them they are really really cool and they're really well made um, they just pop out like that you put it on the surface to put the base back on and that's essentially your spring form cake tin this um, this one was 21 and a half centimeters wide externally and 20 centimeters wide internally so it's not too big i think it's enough i think it's a big enough cake tin for like if you're making cake for like four people i think that it's a really nice size i decided not to go with really big cake tins because i live alone so i'll be the only one pretty much all the time eating my stuff unless i can get my family to come over and indulge so the next thing that i purchased was this 12 hole um, muffin or cupcake tray um, and I used this this past weekend to make cupcakes also impeccable I absolutely love it um, I also like the size of the holes it's like a medium sized holes they're not too big and they're also not too small um, and then I also bought the square cake tin um, I really love the size of this cake tin as you can see also with um, the labeling i haven't taken this off because i haven't gotten around to using this but um when i do use it i will definitely be using it to make brownie squares and um i think you can get like 16 brownie squares out of this this the size of this is um 29 centimeters externally by 27 by 5 and internally it's 23 by 23 by four and a half so it is a, a square tin as i had mentioned and then the last thing that i purchased which i think i get the most use out of is my baking sheet um it is quite small how many centimeters i would say it is if i'm measuring it by this one it's maybe 20 it's maybe our uh, 20 centimeters but i don't know how long this is but i absolutely love it like whenever i have things to put in the oven maybe like i'm making a toasted sandwich or i'm making a warming up croissants or i'm 
um, making some fries and some calamari then I will put it onto this tin and everything literally fits for one person. Um, there are, I think they're two sizes bigger than this one and this might be the smallest size, but if you live alone, this is literally like good enough. Actually, to, even if there are two people um, in a household, this will still be big enough for the two of you. So these are basically the things that I purchased. So what do I think about the tin since I've actually used three of them now? out of the six i've used 50 percent of the fake tins first of all guys you feel the le creuset quality the minute you unbox these tins they are literally so thick but they're so smooth all of them have a toughened non-stick coating and the le creuset pans come with a lifetime guarantee insane right like it's crazy when i read that i was like did they make a mistake or i was like lifetime that's insane. So I think that actually just basically goes to show that they put a lot of workmanship and trust in the products that they sell. And I absolutely love that. When you're paying Le Creuset price points, you do want products that are not going to fail you, that are going to last you a lifetime kind of a thing. So I'm really, really happy with them. If you're a person who bakes often and who likes nice things, you will 100% feel the quality of this cake tin. Um, compared to the one that you probably have at home. They are so so different. They feel different. They are built differently They they really really feel like luxury um, If there is one thing that I can point out that makes me a bit nervous about these cake tins is these orange um, silicone handles um, I personally don't think that you could take use them to hold the cake tin when you take it out the oven um, Especially because if you look at the back here and all of them are like this um they have the metal piece still and obviously that conducts heat so that will burn your fingers if you try to take it out holding um the silicone pieces they absolutely they just too too thin but another thing that kind of irks me about these and it hasn't happened yet but i'm just like just being cautious is these silicone tabs are for me um dust or dirt gatherers. I think I've tried to kind of like pop it out to see if, if, if I'm washing it, if I can pop it out and let it dry um, without these and then pop them in later, but it's really, really tough to take them out. Um, I'm not sure if my concerns are valid yet. It hasn't happened with the cake tins that I have used, but um, I do think that over time these might gather some dirt and I'm not sure how one might go about cleaning them if that does happen. Um, apart from that one literally minor concern, I am 100% happy with my purchase. Do I recommend Le Creuset Bakeway? Yes, but. I recommend it. I think that it's great. It's amazing. I'm very, very happy, guys. But um, if you are a person who is like a frequent baker, I think that you'll get a lot of like utilization out of it um, or out of them and it will feel like a worthwhile purchase. However, if you are a person who doesn't bake that often, then I honestly don't think that you should buy as many pots and pans that I purchased. I think definitely you would need, you, you should buy this one. You should buy this one. Um, because these you can use for baked goods as well as savory goods, as well as is multi they multi-purpose pans. So you'll get a lot of use out of them. So I wouldn't say buy all six, um, but also if you're moving into your first place and you want to know which pans to get, and um, maybe you don't have like a Le Creuset budget, the pans that I can recommend that I've gotten the most use out of are definitely these, the ones I've used, these three are probably the best to get. My spring forms and my brownie cake and my brownie tin, I think that these are for people who are already like, I don't wanna say like experienced, right? Cause it's not that difficult to bake a cake, but it's not for people who just like don't know how to bake. So those are basically the three trays that I would recommend you start off with. If you wanna dabble into Le Creuset, but also if you want to start your own bakeware collection, you'll get the most use out of these. Um, and yeah, that's about it, literally.
Thank you so much for staying until the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed my baking session and you learned a thing or two about making banana bread. The one interesting thing that I actually found out when I was making my banana bread that I did differently um, this time around was actually using baking soda as opposed to baking powder. So whenever they recommend use baking soda in a recipe, don't substitute it for baking powder. Baking soda is so much more effective. And I think also for like um, dense, um, batter like banana loaf you actually do need a rising agent that is much stronger in order to make sure that your um, banana loaf cooks through fully but anyway guys this is not a baking channel it's just a very interesting observation that I made when I was making my banana bread I hope that you guys enjoyed the video and I hope that you guys enjoyed my unboxing and review of my Le Creuset bakeware thank you so much for tuning in ciao for now